All right, made it back to base camp. Got the uh, shipping container open here. The tractor has been sitting here. Oh, when's the last time I drove it? November? Maybe October? It's January. It's been a little while. It's 23 degrees. Hasn't been started since, let's say, November. At, well, yeah, October something. Probably middle of October. We're going to start it up. It'll be a cold start. No, uh, no block heater, no battery tender. Just going to use the old glow plugs and hopefully everything works. It should. I'd be surprised if it didn't, so let's find out. problem now though with the outrigger um, for the stabilizers as you know when you leave a backhoe sit the stabilizers start to droop down well this one's working fine up and down but that one I can't get to come up anymore it's just something stuck in that lever and I can't figure it out so it's always something right, I was able to get this outrigger up turned out it was just cold which you would be too if you sat in a tin can for three months in the winter time in Minnesota Here where the beaver have been you know the battle of the beaver that we've got going on um, if you've been watching the channel you know what I'm talking about they're back at it of course <laughs> Those darn beaver look what they did they took down this nice birch tree they took down a couple other trees in here and uh, remember we trimmed this tree up last time in October November whenever it was um, yeah, but the water level's down, so that's good news. That's great news, in fact. There hasn't been any recent beaver activity, but I don't know how active they really are in the winter time. I can tell my neighbor's been out here trying to trap some, because these are his tracks. We're just gonna follow his tracks. 
see where he's been. Maybe we can see if there's uh, any beavers caught in a trap, if we find a trap. Well, a neighbor was out here and he tried to uh, blast a hole in this beaver lodge that's right here. Looks like he was somewhat successful. He marked it with this PVC pipe here. Doesn't look like there's been any fresh sign of beaver tracks anywhere. So that's good. So there's no activity around this lodge. So that's a good thing. Maybe we slowed them or at least stopped them for the time being. The creek is back down to its normal level. We've got a lot of trees down in this area. Holy man. A lot of, a lot of logs to harvest. Otherwise they're just going to lay on the ground and rot. I mean, look what I'm talking about. Nice, uh, I don't even know what tree that is. Probably an oak tree, sure enough. And they got started on this one over here too. This tree might, uh, this tree might survive if the beaver doesn't come back for it. Well, there's one tree over there that's not surviving. Every tree is just frosted up. Very beautiful out in the woods today. Wow, fun, fun, fun. Well, my good neighbor has been out here uh, taking care of any beavers that show up. He's trapped, I think, at least two of them probably in the last month or month and a half. There hasn't been any, you know, uh, really fresh beaver activity going on around here. There's, there's a few more trees that are down, but I think those are from the beaver that he trapped because they haven't added any more uh, material to the dam the dam has is it's still there it still needs some work but it's flowing the water is down to almost its normal level uh, the beaver have been taking down additional trees like I was saying so we're gonna have to come out here in the in the spring or summer and and harvest some firewood because they'll make good firewood for sure and hopefully we can put an end to the beaver He's also taking care of their lodge. Uh, he actually used some tannerite. Um, I think it was like 10 or 20 pounds of tannerite to blow up the, the beaver lodge. So, you know, and there hasn't been any fresh activity around the lodge and that's a good thing. So it's just, on, it's ongoing. It's not something we're gonna win. It's just something you have to you have to keep up on you know the beaver if we can get rid of all of them in about two or three years they'll all be back you know brand new crop of beavers um after the the little kits the beavers i think babies are called kits uh the moms and dads kick them out and they got to go find their own place and and this happens to be a popular place to head to so <laughs> it's this ongoing process i guess This is the uh, the main dam that we have been taking apart numerous times and trying to uh, get in there, clear it out, and I, we've even tried to light it on fire um, with a little limited success with that. So, you know, it's still there. The beaver have been back a little bit. Oh, here's one of the neighbor's traps, actually. 
right there. See that? He's got it all set to go, so hopefully that'll work. Neighbor's doing a good job. He's been checking his traps. He's got a lot of tracks out here, so it's just gorgeous out here, though, everyone. It's just beautiful. Look at the trees. It's just frosted up, and oh, I've never seen, never seen the woods so pretty. Well, we're plowing snow with a bucket. This is what it looks like. This is the most inefficient way to move snow, but. <laughs> That's all I got right now. Hey, I really appreciate you guys taking a chance to hit that like button. You guys have been doing an awesome job of that. Keep it up, great work. Uh, it's been a lot of fun coming up here to the North Woods, seeing the trees and just, it's just absolutely gorgeous up here today. So thanks for coming along with me. Until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless.